Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you a common problem with the Mercedes vehicle that leak transmission oil out of the wire plugs, okay? And that can cause even your car not to shift right. Okay, that's the wire plug right here that I'm talking about. Stay with us, we're gonna show you how to remove and replace those. Uh, and we'll be demonstrating on ML class right here, but it will be the same for many vehicles since they share that 722 transmission. That's the O-ring I'm talking about, one here and there is one here. This is just from a parts car, uh, just to uh, show you before we start on it, a few things you need to know guys. So stay with us, please subscribe, let's grow the channel together guys, be part of it. And we'll show you how to fix it yourself, how to save yourself quite a bit of money so you don't get robbed at transmission shops, it's, uh, it's not very complicated repair at all. Many videos about that Mercedes on the channel guys, please feel free to check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we'll show you, uh, we'll show on Mercedes uh, ML uh, class that will be 980-2005 how to remove and replace valve, valve uh, body on the transmission. Okay, stay with us guys. We're gonna go ahead, start on it now. Please subscribe, let's grow the channel together, be part of it and let's go ahead, start on it. So guys, some Mercedes vehicles have a drain plug, some do not. So. Okay, right here now, this one does not have a drain plug on the transmission oil pan. So now with a T30, we're barely going to get some bolts loose. Okay, this one is pretty tight, so we will probably have to get the... Yep, the ratchet. Okay, we'll get them loose by hand and then we can use the little wind pack, save us time. and. Uh, if you have a drain plug, it's really convenient because you can drain it and you don't have to have a big mess, guys. It will be a dirty job. Put dirty clothes. We recommend using gloves too. Okay, let's go ahead, get them loose now. And we, what we're planning on doing, get it loose only on one side so uh, we can drain uh, the oil that way. And uh, we will be able to make less of a mess. If that's possible, I don't know. Okay, one is out. You can see that's how they go in. There is six bolts usually. Some might differ a little bit, but... Okay, so... You can see it already started leaking some on this side. That's the plan. Okay, more now. So uh, we have a clean container here to catch uh, the oil now. Okay, now that will be big mess here. You can see. We were just asking for it. Okay, staying a little bit out of the way so I don't get so dirty. Or at least try not to get the camera dirty so we can make more helpful videos. Okay, well we dropped one in the oil. We'll pick it up later. Okay, we have only one ball holding now. But we want it to go down a little bit so we can, so we can drain it that way. Okay, we got it out now. Okay, so we're going to leave that container there because more oil will leak out from the valve body now. And that's where the fueler is guys, so that will be the time to replace your fueler as well. Okay, right there now. You just pull it out. So if you have a, a drain plug, you don't even have to remove the oil pan, but we don't in our case. And now the wires are right here guys, and usually you turn Okay, you turn, let me see if I can get it from this side. It's really, really inconvenient. Okay, right there. I think it's counterclockwise to get them loose. And once you get them loose, uh, you turn that yellow, yellowish white thing, you'll be able to pull the wires out. Okay, but sometimes they do get stuck, I'll be honest with you. Not as easy as it seems sometimes. This one seems like it hasn't been removed for a while. 
Are we guys right there? We got it loose. So cable should come out. You just pull them straight, don't twist them. Okay, once you get the thing loose. Okay, you can see. And some might have a heat plate there with one 8 millimeter bolt. Uh, some vehicles are different. Some people don't install them. This one didn't have one. And now that's the plug there. Okay. That I'm trying to video. And we're going to use a 7, 7 millimeter socket with extension. And there is a bolt in the middle there. Okay, that we will need to go ahead and remove now. Okay, it's hard to get to, so all we have to do, just get that bolt loose all the way. Okay, you can spin it by hand once you get it loose, not, uh, not complicated at all, it's just a little bit narrow room there. We'll need to remove that bolt now. Okay, and once you, uh, the bolt will stay there. You won't be able to pull the bolt out. What you need to do now, now that thing is stuck there. As you can see, let me get a good angle again. So we need to get a, you need to grab it with your hand really strong or you need to get a little bit of a screwdriver and help it bite or a fine tune but very careful not to break it and you need to go straight towards the front do not twist left or right because there is metal pins that are contacting inside okay so that's the piece guys we're gonna show you another valve body that we have so we have an idea how to pull it out okay it goes in only in one angle okay like that you cannot twist it just pull straight out this is the seal that's holding really tight this is the little bolt okay that's what it looks like here so uh, we just went ahead and removed it now. Okay, let me show you now here. Okay, we pull that plastic ring out of it. We'll, we'll install it later and with a small screwdriver, we're just going to pry on it a little bit so we can get it out. Just again, be careful not to break that thing. Okay, got it out right there. So, yeah, it's out of the way now. Okay guys, so that's the old seal now. Uh, you can remove both of them, okay, just like that. You pull them out, then you're gonna get the new ones. Okay, and uh, try to do that with one hand. They'll be a little bit tighter than the old ones, that's for sure. Because the old ones that were leaking, okay. Uh, they were, okay this one is actually even orange, they were a little bit loose, okay, perfect. Okay guys, so now we're ready to install it, let me get the light on, you need to make sure that it goes only, only in one way, if it doesn't go, don't push it, okay. The new seal will be a little bit hard to push in compared to the old one, okay, and you turn it until you get in the swords and then you can you can push it in until the seal is in and then you can get the seven millimeter socket and extension and uh, get it tied with a small ratchet it's a little bit inconvenient but it's doable okay got it tight now we have to install the wires and we need to lock them in place I wish I had more room to shoot that thing guys, but it's almost impossible. Okay, okay, you can see they went in, now we need to lock them. Okay. Okay. Okay, just like that. Wires are secure in place. So we're going to install the oil pan, if you have the oil plug you don't even have to drop the pan guys as I told you, but uh, add the oil, that will be the whole procedure guys, thank you for watching, see you next time, please don't forget to subscribe, be part of the channel, let's grow it together.